Hello, I'm Dr. Sarah Lenher. I'm a urologist at University of Utah Health. In a previous video, I spoke to you about urinary incontinence in general. In this video, I'm going to talk about stress incontinence in women. This information only applies to women because men have very different reasons for stress urinary incontinence. If you're a male and you believe you have stress urinary incontinence, I can help you find a urologist that can help. Stress urinary incontinence is leakage that you get when you cough, sneeze, jump up and down, walk, or run. The first thing to understand is why stress urinary incontinence happens. For women, stress urinary incontinence usually is caused by delivery of babies. The support for the urethra is loosened, and then when you do some sort of stress activity, the urethra moves and you can leak. There are several ways that we can treat stress urinary incontinence. First, we need to reduce any risk factors that you might have for stress urinary incontinence, such as identifying triggers that cause you to leak, weight loss, and stopping smoking. After that, we have both surgical and non-surgical options. The non-surgical options are pelvic floor muscle strengthening, like Kegel exercises. Sometimes you'll need a specialized pelvic floor physical therapist that can teach you about how to strengthen the muscles around the urethra. The second type of non-surgical option is vaginal inserts such as a pessary or other commercial pro products that can splint the urethra closed so you don't leak. The surgical options include one, urethral bulking, and two, a sling procedure. The sling can be made from a mesh material or from your own tissue. You and your doctor can review these options and determine which is the best choice for you because these treatments are not indicated in all cases. If you believe that you have any of these symptoms and they bother you, please call to get an evaluation.